the two founders of Google went to uh, met when they were doing a PhD at Stanford. So they are like academics. And I believe Larry Page, both their parents were academics, meaning they were professors. So I guess they came they from a, a line of, of academics, line of academics. Yeah. So they had a, a mindset of they copied a lot of things that universities do. For example, you know, how do you get into Stanford or how do you get into the best dental school? You pretty much ace everything, right? You ace your interview, you ace your entrance exam, you ace the GPA, you ace all the key subjects that are going to be helpful for you when you go into dental school while you are in university. So you need to get an A, A, A in all these things, things. And if you get an A in all these six things, then you get into the top dental school. Same thing with Google SEO, because it's free, meaning even though it's earned, you don't have to pay cash to Google to get that, you know, 5%, uh, getting 95% of the traffic privilege, they make it super hard. So they have kind of identified six buckets. And if in each one of those six buckets, you're getting an A, A plus, you have to get all six A's, all six A pluses, then you get into the 5%. So like Life Smiles is an example of a site that's in the 1%, uh, you know, where like you guys crush it. Let me just go through those buckets. One is NAP. NAP consistency. So NAP consistency stands for name, address, phone number consistency. Again, it's one of those buckets where it's never ending. You can keep working on it. Like when we started with Life Smiles, even like three websites didn't have exact same name, address, and phone number. Today, there are 120 websites that have the exact right, same listing, name. Listings, correct? And not websites, exactly. but listings. Listings. So an example might be Yelp or City Search or US News. So all these are listings. So when I go to City Search, for example, and I see the name Life Smiles Dental Care, it has to be written exactly the same way on City Search as it is on your website, as it is on your Google profile. So all these profiles, all these listings should have the exact same, uh, you know, way the name is written, the way the address is written. Then another another one that Google really pays attention to is original content. So Google loves original content, and if you have more than 5% duplicate content, they penalize you. So you have a 400 page, a 400 word page, 5% of 400 is 20. So you cannot have more than 20 words that are similar to some other 20 words on somebody else's website on the entire internet. If you do, then you're not gonna be getting an A from Google standpoint for original content. So again, you need an A for original content. Google Lighthouse score, every single page gets a score where in four different areas, Google gives you a score of one to a hundred. If you're getting closer to hundred in all four areas, that page is considered a good page from a Google standpoint for Google Lighthouse. The fourth one is Google Eat. Google Eat is, you know, where Google looks at um, your website and it's only affects certain industries like healthcare and so forth. And it says, are you, are you, the e, Eat stands for an acronym, you know, are you an expert? Are you trustworthy? Are you an authority? And I don't want to get into the details, but if Google considers you an expert, trustworthy, and authority, again, you get an A for Google Eat. Uh, quality backlinks. How many pages on your website has links pointing back to your site? And are they the right kind of pages? And um, uh, right kind of links. So all these things matter. Um, last but not least, Gary, something that you are a big advocate of, and me too, is Google reviews. Google reviews also help with your ranking. Um, so if you have 10 or more reviews every month, that's called velocity. You need a certain number of reviews every single month. Uh, if you have uh, diversity, diversity meaning how many words are being used in those reviews versus two letter, two letter, two word reviews, or you know, no words at all reviews with five stars. So that's really helpful. You and I call it love letter reviews. Um, and last but not, not least, how many total reviews do you have and what your star rating is? So, so there's all these factors. And what we do is we kind of make sure that there are different teams working on each factor. So when Google looks at all these six areas, they are giving you an A, A, A six times, and therefore you get into the 5%. And, um, and there's a lot of advantage for that.